Okay, so um, you've been hearing about natto, uh, which is K2, good for the bones. You should uh, take um, calcium or take it with uh, vitamin D3, uh, preferably separate. Some doctors tell you to take it together, but there's a doctor that's a real good specialist that tells you you don't want to mix certain nutrients with other nutrients. Take it separate. Uh, so I believe she said to take the calcium separate or take the D3 separate. Those are the two things that you should take when you take natto, okay? It doesn't hurt to take it separate. You're told to take it together. Um, I probably will find it safe if my memory uh, serves me right. Uh, D3 with natto is okay together. But uh, she did mention there's a conflict in the stomach, right? When it's, when it's mulling through the nutrients and all that. And some things should not be taken together. Just like some prescriptions, right? A lot of prescriptions are made of herbs. The only thing is they put in some of that chemical to call it a pharmaceutical uh, and have a patent on it, right? So um, I have here, let's see, uh, packaged, prepackaged organic dry garbanzo beans, which I did earlier this year in March 11. And today is November 2nd. So now I'm going to crack one open. I wish I had a tiny one. Um, uh, I wonder if, if I save some, some. A lot of times I, I keep some out uh, while I'm packaging so much, right? Uh, so this, this little thing here is a little, is a little hard to open. So I'm going to try to yank it open and I'm, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, this is not that easy to open. So I'm kind of sliding it over. And seeing if I could trick it, but I got to be careful because I can't sue anybody <laughs> but myself, right? So let's see. Oh, boy, this thing is just not coming out too easy. Let's see if I can do it with my own bare hands. Can't even do it with, with the hammer, for crying out loud. Okay, I got it. All right. So here's my prepackaged um, uh uh, garbanzo beans, which is good. This is not separately packaged. I did a lot of separation packaging, but over here, this I kept it all in one bag. So it's easier for me to, to grab some. And as you can see, I put some, uh, uh, my goodness, I can't even freaking think anymore what I'm doing, right? Some, some of these packages to absorbies. These are absorbies, right? And I also use bay leaf, uh, uh, bugs don't want to get in where there's no air or where there are bay leaves, okay? Or um, uh, Diometries. I pronounce it Diometries. Other people pronounce it differently. You say tomato, I say tomato. So I'm going to bust this open, which means I'm going to have to find another one, okay? Uh, just so I could take some of these beans out, which I'm going to soak. So here's the plan. Everybody's been talking about natto beans, but people also have been talking about soybeans, which natto beans are made of, right? Uh, or natto. They call it just plain old natto. So the Japanese don't just use soybeans to make natto. Uh, big surprise, huh? And nobody really makes natto. They buy the, the packaged powder. But it's a very good meal. It's good for your tummy. fills you up. And it's extremely good for your bones. You should have... Uh, vitamin 3, uh, D3, or calcium. Uh, a doctor that's very, very good in advising against mixing certain vitamins. She's a like a specialist. One day, I'll maybe I'll, I'll link her up down at the bottom. Uh, should I remember? I will do it at some point. Uh, she said you shouldn't mix uh, K2 with calcium. Or maybe she said K2 with D3. I think it was really with calcium. So in other words, you could take it, but don't take it together because the body is is, is mulling it over, the, the nutrients, and those things should not be together. I don't know if I said that earlier because the video did get cut off. So here are some of my uh, beans. All right, so I'm just going to grab some of these. It's a beautiful sight, my little packaging here. These are garbanzo beans, organic. I ordered them in bulk, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of these precious beans. Just I already ordered soybeans to make natto, but I just learned that natto does not have to be made with soybeans, and soybeans are not the, the most nutritious, okay? So now I'm going to go over here, 
and I'm going to dump them over here, okay? And this is not the way everybody makes natto, all right? Everybody makes it different. And we're talking about the real natto, the real McCoy, not, not that powder that you pay like $30 for in the mail, which is still good for you, uh, I'm sure. But let me uh, uh, proceed with this here. So now, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, the, these are organic. They don't probably have pesticides, but I'm still going to put a little baking soda. And always uh, <clears throat> soak your beans, and especially the commercial ones, put baking soda. I'm going to put water and let them sit overnight. Just soak them, even though these are organic. So we're actually double safe here. Uh, typically, you really need to do that because they're commercial. But it's good to get into the practice. I bought this delicious, this beautiful dish in Salvation Army. And I never knew what I was going to do, uh, make of it, right? But now it's going to serve the purpose. It's going to sit here for 24 hours. And I will be right back. Thank you for joining me. This is part one of how to make nacho, nacho beans. Thank you.